Hello everyone, today's episode is all about cauliflower. We're gonna transform cauliflower with three different recipes. Fun things that you can do making cauliflower the star of your plate, dinner, dish, I don't know. This is Southern Girl Meets Vegetarian Boy. Cauliflower episode. Pow, pow. This cauliflower packed episode is brought to you by GE Appliances. Cauliflower is so versatile and I cannot wait to jump into these recipes and show you how fun cauliflower can be. Today we're gonna make whole roasted cauliflower topped with a little gremolata, which is just nut and herb sauce, Nashville style hot cauliflower and pickled cauliflower. Let's start this episode in a big way, a whole head of cauliflower way. Let's roast this bad boy. Except for let's actually not roast them because roasting cauliflower a whole head takes hours. But you know what doesn't take hours? Microwaving it. What? I don't know why people are weird about the microwave. I love a microwave, especially when you're trying to get something tender really quick. I have a whole head of cauliflower here in a bowl and I'm covering it with plastic wrap. If you don't want to use plastic wrap, that's okay. You can use a microwave safe bowl that has a lid on it. Just like pop the top a little bit. What you're trying to do is seal in a lot of the moisture that comes off of the cauliflower. Depending on the size of the cauliflower, it's going to take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. This one's pretty big, so I'm going to go about nine minutes. The microwave is going to allow the cauliflower to steam. Careful when you lift this off because it is hot. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to lift our cauliflower gently and now drizzle with olive oil. I'm sprinkling this with a very coarse salt and coarse ground pepper. Just a little sprinkle. Okay. And now let's roast that little baby. Because this cauliflower is already tender, all we're trying to do with the broil is get it golden brown. So it's gonna take about four to five minutes on low. We're gonna to top this with a little gremolata, which is just an Italian nut and herb sauce, which I absolutely love. We're just gonna get a very, very rough, very coarse sauce to pour over top of the cauliflower. I'm putting this into my Immersion Blender's mini chopper attachment. It just starts with two tablespoons of olives. I'm using a green olive because they're super salty third of a cup of almonds, two garlic cloves, and then a half a cup of fresh herbs, either mint or parsley. I'm gonna use a little combo of both because it just really feels lively and delicious. A half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes for some heat, a little pinch of salt, and some black pepper. I'm gonna chop this all up and then add in the liquid. Okay, half a cup of olive oil, and a couple teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Blend again. Boom. Are you ready? Let's top. Ooh, look at how absolutely beautiful this is. Can you believe that? And now we're just gonna top while it's hot with a little bit of this so it leaks into the cauliflower. I just top it just like this, kind of in the center. It's a nice thick sauce. So when you cut out a wedge of this to serve, you'll have that beautiful sauce on the top and then the roasted cauliflower still showing through. Have some toasted breadcrumbs for a little bit of texture. And whatever herbs you used in your sauce, just chop up a few of those and top your whole roasted cauliflower. This is enough for three or four people. Unless you want it to be your whole dinner, then just go for it. I'll just cut this little guy. Ooh, it's so tender, you all. So I kind of cut it in half, and then I come in and I cut it into quarters. All right. I put a little bit more of our sauce on the plate just for the cauliflower to kind of sit on. Look at this, you all. Whoa. And it takes 15 minutes 
So this is one of those dishes that, oh no, people are coming to our house for a party. Ta-da! It seems like you've been working all day. Let's try it. Look how tender. Isn't it unbelievable? Look at that. Sauce, tender cauliflower. You won. The cauliflower and the olive almond sauce together are best friends. We get heat, we get salt, we get crunch. That little bit of char from the broiling changes the flavor completely. Now we have a little bit of smoke. It's this gorgeous kind of sweet flavor from the cauliflower. And then we have these herbs like mint, which is all effervescent-y, along with that parsley. I love this. It would be enough just to make this gorgeous whole roasted cauliflower, but that's not the only thing we're making today. I still have Nashville style hot cauliflower coming at you and pickled cauliflower. What? Let's get a little wrap out line. Stay tuned, there's not commercial breaks. Just cut. Got it. Dylan, you want? Mm -hmm. All right, episode 106, cauliflower recipe two. <laughs> Okay, y'all, let's make some refrigerator pickles. Now, pickles don't just have to be cucumbers. It can be cauliflower. I have a little rainbow of cauliflower right here. You just need about a head of cauliflower. I wanted it to be extra pretty, so I have some different colored cauliflower, but plain white cauliflower is fine. It's totally fine. And truly, you can make this recipe using any vegetable. I just like cauliflower because Derek and I love jardinera. And so making your own pickled cauliflower is a nice way to then make your own jardinera. You make your own, what? Um, yeah. Okay, to quick pickle for this recipe, we are going to start with some acid. Whenever you're pickling, you're always gonna put some salt and some acid. You also sometimes will see sugar, but the amount of sugar is gonna depend on if you're making more of a savory kind of pickle or a bread and butter style pickle, which I absolutely love. Into my pan, I'm gonna put in one cup of apple cider vinegar, three cups of white distilled vinegar. You can really use almost any vinegar you want, but the color is gonna change the way your pickles look. It's just an aesthetic. This is just a combination because every single vinegar is gonna give me some different notes. You can just use whatever vinegar at home you have. We're looking for about four tablespoons of lemon juice. Whenever you're talking about a savory pickle, you're usually talking about some sort of garlic in there. So this is just thinly sliced cloves of garlic. Throw those little bad boys in. I have one jalapeno, I went ahead and sliced it. I do want it to be a little bit spicy, so I'm adding the stems and the seeds. If you're not into spicy, leave this out. You could also put red pepper flakes in. That would be delicious as well. Get in there, little hot guy. Tablespoon of salt and then four to six tablespoons of sugar, depending on how sweet you like it. I do like a little hint of sweet with the cauliflower. We give that a little stir, and as soon as everything is melted, you're ready to make pickles. We're not gonna cook the cauliflower, and so this will take a little bit of time for the cauliflower to develop all those flavors, but not too long. It's like three days and you have pickles. That's it. While that happens, let's grab jars. These are cleaned jars. We're not gonna can. We are putting these into the refrigerator so there's no, there's no need to go into the process of boiling this and making sure that the top seals down. We're not canning here, we're just quick pickling. These are often referred to as a refrigerator pickle. That means that the pickling process actually happens in the refrigerator over the course of the next few days. So all you do is you're gonna load up your raw vegetables. We want them to be raw because that's gonna make them extra crisp. If you cooked these at all, you would end up with um, kind of like mushy pickled cauliflower, which is less than delicious. When I'm loading, I just kind of drop the colors in. They're all gonna bleed into each other, but it does make them look real pretty. I think pickled anything is a great gift. This is then delicious in soups. This is so good in any kind of a salad. This is a great recipe to have, like you put it on your cheese board. It's just really fun. You just pack it kind of tight. Ever so often you wanna give a little push down so you can get, you just really wanna cram these little bad boys in there. And then as soon as this comes up to simmer, you really just want the sugar and the salt to melt and for the jalapeno and the garlic to get a little tender, which they have done. Now we just lift and pour in. Again, a quick pickle can be anything. 
It's the process of heating up your pickling liquid and then putting that over raw vegetables. When you're talking about something that is hearty like a cauliflower, it's a little bit easier to just go in with a straight hot liquid. But if you're pickling something like a peach or berries or cucumbers, you want to cool the liquid down so that it doesn't cook your veg. You just fill it up until everything is fully covered. We're going to let these cool on our countertop until room temperature and then we're gonna throw them in the refrigerator. You just don't wanna put the lid on when it's hot because it traps the heat inside of there. And now that these are cooled, I can put them in the refrigerator. Look at those. So cute, and I have some that I made a few days ago so we can try them. So look, I didn't have purple cauliflower. No big deal, this is just regular cauliflower. Ooh, okay, let's try one of these little bad boys. Look, these are little big tiny ones. Mmm, those are so pretty. This is a little bit sweet, it's a little bit tart, it's salty, tangy, and a little bit spicy. Can you hear how they still have a little crunch? That's because we put them in raw. This is so good, it's so tangy and like just the right amount of heat. Throw this into your coleslaws on top of green salads, cauliflower bisque with some pickled cauliflower on the top, and you look fancy. Now you can pickle whatever you find in your garden. If you're not familiar with pickling, let me know in the comments below, and we'll do a whole episode on pickling. We can do a whole episode on canning. We can do a whole episode on making jams. We can do whatever. Let me know what you're looking for. Also subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Might as well, y'all. So now we've made whole roasted cauliflower. We've made pickled cauliflower. What about some Nashville style hot cauliflower? You ready? Now let's go for something that is very, very fun and feels like a party, Nashville style hot cauliflower. <gasps> I love it. I've saved the best for last, y'all. All right, so we have our cauliflower and we're just gonna stake this out. The end is not gonna work, right? We need the stem to hold our cauliflower together. But what I wanna do now is come in and stake it out. Go straight down. And it's about the thickness of your thumb. And now, to make it work for a sandwich, split it in half. And that gives us two pieces for each stake. One cauliflower will give you about six, and then you'll have lots of little pieces to make pickled cauliflower out of. Turn on your oil. You want your oil to start heating up. It needs to be about 350 degrees. While it's heating, let's work on our batter. This is not a dry, wet, dry breading process. This is wet into crispy breadcrumbs. What? So we start with one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch. Cornstarch is gonna be what makes it super, super crunchy, especially when we're talking about the batter. We're adding liquid to this, and so to make it super crunchy, you put in a little cornstarch. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cayenne. That's what's gonna make it hot. Give your dry ingredients a whisk so everything's nice and combined. Ooh yeah, our oil's already heating up. You want your oil to heat up evenly, so you kind of tip it so that it swirls in the pan so that you're not only getting hot in the center, but all of it's mixing together. Now we put in our hot sauce. This is a tablespoon of hot sauce. And then one cup of soda water. That's gonna bubble up, and you can see this is gonna be nice and fluffy. And now we just give it a stir. I'm using a balloon whisk. A balloon whisk is, has a lot more space in between all those little tines. It lets this thick batter move through it. And you see, don't work it too much. It's gonna be thicker than a pancake batter, but it'll still run off your whisk. I'm gonna do my tried and true method of breading. So we're gonna go cauliflower into the batter, into the breadcrumbs, into the pan. So that I don't end up with batter all over my fingers, I almost always will stab what I'm working with. I like a lot of batter, especially because there's a lot of moisture, and so as the cauliflower is cooking, you do want there to be a lot of breading on the outside to balance how much cauliflower you're getting. Now this goes into my breadcrumbs. Okay, look at that. You want where some of the batter is gotten some of the breadcrumb on it and is hanging off, that's gonna be extra crispy little bits there. Last one, and now we're ready to fry. Whenever you're frying, you wanna make sure that you're not overloading the pan. When you overload the pan, it drops the temperature of the oil so that you end up with a product that is greasy instead of crispy. 
I'm gonna let these cook for four to five minutes on each side and while that's happening, why don't you go ahead and either like or comment or subscribe to our channel, hmm? When you're talking about Nashville style hot chicken, there's always a sauce with it. I'm doing a combination of fry oil, butter, cayenne, brown sugar, and some chili powder. The thicker the steak of cauliflower, the longer it's gonna take to cook. So you might end up with something that's really deeply golden brown, which is what we want. We want it dark golden brown like that. And that way we'll know that our cauliflower is cooked all the way through. Oh my God, this looks so good. When you flip them, there's always gonna be a lot more bubbling happening because that side of the cauliflower is not cooked. So it'll start to expel all that water, which is why you get bubbles when you're frying. Ready? Woo! Look at that, Angel. Okay, let's build a sandwich. Oh my God. I'm in heaven. It is so spicy. The cauliflower on the inside is tender, but the outside, because of that cornstarch and our flour, it's crispy, golden brown, a little bit of sweetness from those pickles. And we have that spicy sauce just running throughout our entire sandwich. It's messy, it's delicious. This is so addictive. And it's as easy as that to make Nashville style hot cauliflower. One more bite, no big deal. Oh my God. You all, we did it again. One ingredient, three delicious ways. I love these recipes, all of them. The roasted cauliflower is a showstopper. You have that tender cauliflower, plus our almond and olive sauce on the top to kind of brighten it and give it a little tang. Panko breadcrumbs, so it's nice and tender. When you get a wedge of that on a plate, hello, that's a whole entree. Plus we have these very, very versatile pickles. We talked about how to pickle, how to quick pickle, what you can pickle besides cauliflower. And then I don't know about you, but I think my favorite recipe is that Nashville style hot cauliflower. Fried up cauliflower steaks, hot, hot, hot sauce on a bun with bread and butter pickles, a little bit of mayonnaise. We get heat, we get sweet, we get crunch. What else could you want? I would eat this every single day. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you again to GE Appliances for sponsoring this episode. It has been my pleasure to bring these recipes into your home. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all. Damaris with three ways coming at you every day. Hi. Got heart mood in the beauties. Got